But let me, that was just a backup for um, Blood and Cottage Down. Let me try uh, Cripple Creek. I'll start at 130 beats per minute. Let's see if I can do that. And then I'll quickly go through the rest of the stuff to try to show you how I'm doing on everything else. Thank you. 
go, let's skip 140 and go to 150 and see if I can do that. And then if I can, we'll just, I'll just, I'll move on from there. sitting down, I'll practice standing up. I try to practice 50-50, so every other practice I'm standing or sitting, because it, it is different, it is different. Um, do back up, uh, blow them kind of down at the neck. shallower, which will help back here, especially for the thumb, so I don't drag that thumb across the head either. Okay, for Cumberland Gap, I feel like I'm being set back, so I, I'm going to go really slow with Cumberland Gap. sounds bad because I'm not fretting with my index. By the way, an update on this, it really doesn't hurt anymore, but I'm giving it another month just to like see if I can get it to completely heal. I don't want it to just be healed and then start using it and then aggravate it because I wasn't totally healed. Vamping is, looks, they make it look so easy when you, when you watch like the Dead South uh, and hell, I'll be in good company. It just like it seems simple, but it it is so tricky. I'm finding it to be really tricky anyway.
obviously lots of work to do on damn thing. Uh, will the circle be unbroken? with practice like sometimes it's really good on a song and then I kind of take a step back and then move forward again it's all part of the process I'm actually also working on I, I kind of gave up for now because of the finger of um, wagon wheel from um, I forget the website that I got the tablature from uh, and instead I found some backup roll patterns that Mike Heading from his, his website. And so I'm starting to do that um, because it doesn't engage this finger as much, so it's easier on the finger. the tablature that was I'm starting to do that by memory but I don't think I've got it completely memorized all right that's it for this time uh, thanks I will see you next time